Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney Violetta and I am so nervous for today's video. There's a video on YouTube of Jordan Sparks, not the American Idol singer, but Jordan Sparks on YouTube who did a psychic reading of me and I'm gonna react to it live. So buckle in, we are about to watch this. I, I love getting psychic readings and it'd just be so interesting to have somebody over the internet who's never met me in real life try to read me. I don't know, so let's do it. Ah, okay, here we go. Hi Sparkles, so in today's video we are going to be doing something new for my channel and I am extremely excited, maybe a little too excited, like I need to calm that down. I am going to be doing the first intuitive or psychic reading here on my channel. And thank you to Courtney Violetta. Oh, he said it right. He said it right. For being my first victim. I am already like screaming internally. Let's get into it. Ah, uh, why? So why I'm going screaming? to probably be I'm referencing scared. a lot of chakras, colors, just general feelings and things like that. And I probably I will not be making sweater, like Jordan. predictions. I I'm not really the kind of psychic to give like set out in stone predictions and that is because Good. Good. I don't want to prediction. truly like predict anything 100% um, you are still in your physical body and you are still in control of your own destiny a psychic can only make predictions that may come true I completely agree with that I feel like every psychic I've gone to that has like predicted the future has not been right I think that's also because I'm someone who like does so many different things that they can never pinpoint where I'm gonna go next. But I like when people are able to like read like the energy of a certain situation rather than being like, this is what's gonna happen because trust me, like the way my mind changes all the time, like it's not gonna happen. So. <laughs> oh my God, that's me. Ah, I'm so uncomfortable watching myself. A past um, that is colored with almost a rainbow of aura colors but not quite a rainbow oh. <laughs> and that is as if Courtney has been able to completely dive into so many different aura colors and energies and really embody that entire energy and live that experience and so her soul and her karmic energy has taken on these many different aura colors in the past kind of like experimenting like does this fit me? Is this who I am? Now, I feel like I that just is something about. that is, like I said, in the past, and Courtney is developing a stronger presence in her aura colors. And something actually very unique and rare is that I see white in Courtney's aura color, which is actually a really, really rare aura color. And um, white actually represents the crown chakra, which this is why I was screaming inside because Courtney's predominant aura color that I see is like a true violet. Like if you Google what a violet looks like, actually like my sweater. And, um, and I love his sweater. I also see white and white is very rare, but violet is also the color of the crown chakra as well. And this is kind of a very psychic chakra i'm not surprised to see courtney go into more spiritual content more content on meditation things like that and okay the other aura colors that i see <clears throat> is like a baby pink and like a baby light blue now the baby pink is representative of the heart chakra and so courtney speaks and communicates from the heart and it's very gentle and that is where her light blue comes in and the light blue is of the throat chakra which is communication essentially and with the light blue and the baby pink of the heart chakra Courtney is very soft-spoken she is very contemplative um, like she really really is going to think out what she is going to say before she blurts something out um, she's very Total conscious fault, of how her sure. words affect other people and almost to a blockage sometimes <laughs> where she's afraid to express how she feels about something because she may worry about how it may hurt someone or affect somebody mm -hmm. when she communicates. Mm -hmm. 
So the light blue and the baby pink are definitely an interesting pairing. That's so true. I find it really difficult sometimes to, especially online, not so much in person, at least with the people that like I surround myself with, which are like three people. It's hard for me now to want to make certain types of videos because I'm so conscious of how my words like can be taken in somebody else's perspective. Anything you say can be taken in a way that you don't mean it based on how someone's perceiving it and hearing it. So I think about that with like every single sentence that I say and it can be really overwhelming and draining when it comes to wanting to make a video. Yeah, it's definitely difficult, that's for sure. I'm screaming inside because I say predominantly I see violet and then I didn't think about this ever before, but Courtney's name, Courtney Violetta, Violet. I'm wondering I never thought if, of that either. I don't know if that is, if you're watching Courtney, I'm sure you will be, your real last name or if that's a last name you've chosen. Now, something else that I'm screaming about is I feel a general, especially in the past, this is something that I feel like you're becoming more grounded and more rooted and not so like all over the place trying on all of these different aura colors because you're settling into who you are. But while you were trying on all of these different aura colors, you've always had a general blockage of your like orange and red aura colors, which are representative <laughs> of like the root chakra. Uh, I guess I'll talk about this. Uh, so for Courtney, I feel like there is a general um, lack of orange in your aura, which to me is like you are not necessarily not a sexual person, <laughs> but lacking um, sexual energy outwardly. It's like you keep it to yourself. Um, and the why I'm la laughing and screaming to myself is because the orange and red, when you're lacking in those colors or those feelings, you naturally gravitate towards <laughs> those colors in order to try and oh, no. fill I know up you're yourself. Going. Oh my god. Your soul and your energy. And so I think that's so ironic because if you guys have watched Courtney's channel, she was like so oh attached god. to the red or the <laughs> orange hair color. It's so true. And that oh no. is like the kind of energy that she was missing in her life. So I'm assuming He's that by so having right. the red and the <laughs> so orange kinds of hair guys. tones <sighs> that it helped her feel more like fiery and more grounded and have more sexual energy, be more flirtatious and all of those kinds of things. Look at the book that I have like literally right down here. A Wild Woman's Way. Unlock your full potential for pleasure, power, and fulfillment. I, he's, he's 100% on point. I've been watching um, a YouTuber, oh my gosh, I don't remember her name. And I love how she just talks about like sexuality, the way I see it from her, because he's describing it kind of in colors, so I will as well. Her, her way of describing is like, in my eyes, more watery and like flowy and just like effortless and it's everywhere and everything and like flows within you. So watching her videos, it's kind of made me like feel more comfortable with like expressing that side of myself. Something I thought that was interesting is that I mentioned that Courtney may have felt an attachment to the physical red or orange hair color. And the interesting so thing is that your crown chakra is actually blocked by attachment. Uh -huh. And I've recently, like I said, felt Courtney develop a much stronger, pure violet energy in her aura. And not so ironically, let go of her attachment to the red or that's the orange so hair color. That's so interesting. Coincidence? Um, I don't think that's a coincidence because I dyed my hair red, uh, it might have been 2017, and felt more powerful, right? But it was really like around that time, I was also dating somebody at that time, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Before that, I was really into my spiritual practices and like every day I would meditate and I was going to yoga and I had um, gotten certified in yoga and aerial yoga and it was just like, I felt like such a different and better person. And almost like the mark of when I dyed it red to, I guess now, I felt like much heavier in terms of like 
who I was. I felt like I was much more in like a masculine type of energy where I'm like focusing on career and money and more of like that kind of stuff rather than like love and relationships and community and that kind of thing. So that's like a total aha moment, even for me. So thank you for making me realize that. As I say, there's lots of violet and lots of purple. Um, combined with the white, I would say there's really strong um, psychic connection in Courtney and that that can be overwhelming and you may experience that in like a general sense of like energy overwhelm, like you won't be able to film, you won't be able to be on camera, you don't want to socialize or be with anybody, you really, really need your time to be yeah. by yourself and to recharge 100%. Again. And I feel like your soul craves spiritual activity and spiritual connection with other people um, and as much as you enjoy that connection, it can also be incredibly draining for you. This is a period where you're really open and receptive towards love. That's so um, true. You're not really focused um, necessarily on sex or <laughs> the physicality of any of that. And um, that's not, not a bad thing. That's actually something I can definitely relate to myself. Yeah, so I, like I was saying, I haven't really, I've been single for like three years. It's because I, I really just want to meet that person in real life. And like, I don't want to have somebody thinking there's other intentions behind anything. Like I truly, like I'm not into like hookups at like this point in my life. So, and people say that's like having fun, but that's not my <laughs> interpretation of having fun. That's really just like playing with my emotions and I don't like that. The orange energy is kind of related to like pleasure and letting go and enjoying yourself and sexual energy and can be blocked by feelings of shame or guilt, um, which is again, something that I can relate to because um, with my upbringing, like anything around sex or anything like that is um, like shame and guilt ridden. Um, so yeah, if you could embrace some orange and red in your life, you don't have to be attached to it, but that could mean like getting a red gem, like a sapphire or like an orange crystal or something like that, wearing red, wearing orange. Hmm, that's funny. I literally don't have any red crystals at all. They're all blue black, clear, green. Like, look at the ones I have right here. <laughs> I think I'm drawn to a certain kind. I would say that you are in a period of manifestation in your career. You help people feel connected. You help them see their true self. That's kind of the blue in your aura as well. And you communicate with your heart your pink energy and your heart chakra um, in everything that you do. Those are like predominant traits of you. Um, you are a great listener. And these are all things that I believe you are going to carry forward through your career as these are your predominant oral colors and energies. Again, I was gonna say, I don't like to make predictions, but I definitely see babies in your future definite mom energy, definite planning out the nursery meticulously and making it absolutely beautiful with pastel colors. Yeah. That is definitely in my foresight for you, Courtney. I picture a lot of love, love in your career, love in your relationship, potential marriage, definitely seeing children. I don't see a lot of like heated, fiery energy in your near future. I don't see like fiery, heated, angry debates, resentment, grudges. Those things have been released and set free. I don't see any kinds of major confrontations coming up. I don't see much of a sex life coming up, but like I said, you're in control of your own soul and your own destiny. And How depressing. when those energies are lacking, then that's something that you can uh, intentionally set out to bring into your life. The main irony is, is that the last name, Violetta, and the predominant 
purple in the aura and the fact that I chose to wear purple and purple to build this, the red hair, like I said, because I don't, never thought about these things before. This isn't something that I tap into unless I'm going to do a reading. Um, and I've never done a reading for Courtney. That being said, I felt very connected to Courtney's energy as soon as I first found her and um, the irony Aww. of the white in the aura because I remember that thumbnail being very white and the hair was platinum blonde and there was like this seeking for white, bright, light energy. Um, but this was in a period where Courtney's energy was all over the place and she was trying on all very different true. kinds of energies. Um, very true. But yeah, Still and the was. attachment to and the red is. hair. Um, I bet that you probably for the most part felt quite aligned with the red hair, but as if you were mm -hmm. like kind of blocked off with your psychic energy um, because you were attached to a physical image of who you were instead of right. a divine mm -hmm. feeling and knowing of who you are. That's very interesting. And one time I had um, a psychic reading with this man and he said that men uh, are not attracted to me with the red hair because red is like power color. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like red is not a power color on somebody's hair. Like it's just, now I look, I like, I just like the way it looks. It's pretty, it's red, it's different. Maybe there's something to that, that like, it's just like a, I was wanting to be like a physical embodiment of like what I needed in my life. And like, even if it repelled like the men that that psychic was telling me, it was at least it like helped me learn who i was in the end so that was such a fun video to watch i was nervous i don't know why i i think just like people talking about me in general like just gives me like <laughs> some stress you always interpret yourself differently than other people do so i think jordan was telling me that he's going to start doing more videos like this on his channel and like tapping into more spiritual videos so if you like those from me you definitely would love to watch them from him so you can go subscribe to him i'll leave his link in the description box but leave a comment down below letting me know if you realized any of these things about me if you think you're psychic like what you think of all this and I will see you guys very soon with another video bye